for the first time ever, I'm gonna be testing out prank products, prank gadgets. I've seen a lot of these, like, I was gonna say over the years, I've literally only been on TikTok for like five months, but I've seen this being like a big like genre on TikTok, but it's like the silliest prank products, like prank products, like bloody handprint, just stuff that I would not think anyone ever in any life situation would fall for. So I wanted to get some of the super silly prank products that I've been seeing everywhere on TikTok. I kind of just went down the Amazon like recommended products rabbit hole. You guys know how they do that. They're like, oh, if you're looking at this, you might like these 20 items. I sort of just bought a smorgasbord of prank products. Some of them actually look like kind of scary, dare I say scary, and some of them do look downright cheesy. Let's get started. <laughs> so this it's two pranks stuck together. I wanted to do this one first. It is the Super Lissing Butter Knee. These are supposed to be prank butterflies. And I think that you can just put them inside of any closed item, like maybe a notebook or a card. And the butterfly pops up in your face. Ooh, this one's blue. We're gonna do this. It was like a pack of two. This is what it looks like. And I thought it was gonna be like super thin feeling paper, but this actually feels like something that you potentially could use more than once. I found everyone's favorite classic novel, Haunted Air. Ew. I think it's just like a collection of old photographs, but I haven't opened it in a long time, so I don't know. 50 to 60 turns. So there's like a little rubber band in there. This feels like maybe I've done this more than 60 times. So now let's put it in the book. Okay, there we go. It's like so puffy. So I feel like somebody could maybe see that something's in the book from the side. You know, maybe somebody would think it's like a bookmark and they'd be like, oh, an important passage on this page. Let's read it. Oh my God. I hope it flew up enough. That was honestly magical. And look, it didn't break. <gasps> I can do it again and again. I'm gonna hold the book a little bit higher. Let's watch it again. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God, did you guys see that? These things are so inexpensive. Now I ordered mine on Amazon, so you didn't get as many pieces and it was like quite pricey comparatively to like, if you buy them from like Wish or AliExpress, you can actually get like 10 of these for like a dollar. I have to just try it one more time. Let's try it all the way over here. I hope you guys can see it. <gasps> oh my God. This would actually be like a fun, pleasant prank. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is like enjoyable. It's fascinating and it's unexpected. Next prank comes in this big giant box. <laughs> This is not so much a prank for humans, but a prank for like woodland creatures that might live around your house. I had to get this for the Swamp Fam. It is a floating alligator and you can put it in your pool. Now, honestly, because quite apparently I can't read like instructions or Amazon listings, I thought that this was gonna be a 30 foot floating crocodile replica. I thought it was gonna be a huge floating alligator in my pool, but it's 30 inches. It's like a little baby alligator. So maybe this could fool small children or newborn baby hawks or something, owls, I don't know. So Dogman and I took it out to the pool yesterday and uh, that's where he lives now. He's like the gator of the pool. I think it's pretty cute and I just love it because of the Swamp family. All right, up next is the product that kind of jumped out right at the beginning. It's one of those like spilled product pranks. I saw so many of these and honestly, a lot of them looked cool and convincing. There was like a spilled coffee cup, spilled wine, melted ice cream. There were so many choices, but this one kind of looked like the most realistic to me. It's supposed to be spilled nail polish. For some reason, they won't let you buy just one. You have to buy three spilled nail polish bottles. It actually, like, I can't tell if that's plastic or glass, but look at that. It does look 
even really realistic, like up close, kind of realistic. This one over the past couple of months is a prank that I have seen on TikTok so many times, so tiny and weirdly wrapped that I almost threw it away. And it's a bone cracking prank. It says specifically on the package, disgusting sound. When I look at it like this, it literally looks like, you know those plastic things that we all used to have as kids and it's like a plastic tube and it goes, woo, you know what I mean? Ah. You guys, this thing hardly wants to come uncrimped. Oh my God. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go like, you know, and we're going to, we're going to see, let's see. Tell me, is it a realistic bone cracking sound? I don't know that that was a, a disgusting sound. All right, you guys up next is one of those products that like just based on looking at it, I don't even know what this is supposed to do. Honestly, they say it's a rubber pencil. But like, why could they have not made it full pencil sized? Like really, you couldn't have just made this like an inch bigger rubber pencil time. What is a, ru oh, oh, okay. This is kind of weird. When you pick it up, it does obviously feel like pretty sturdy and actually like reasonably realistically pencil-y feeling. The eraser feels like a 100% real eraser. That doesn't look too fake. Let me see if I do have a real pencil. You know what I'm saying? This is like a half a pencil, not a pencil. I don't know if you're just supposed to create chaos and confusion. Somebody will pick this up and be like, why can't I write with a pencil? I feel like once you start to like try and too aggressively write with it though, like it becomes more bendy. And then I feel like anybody would be able to tell. Although, I'm gonna like draw and try and erase with this because even though the pencil is fake, I think the eraser is real. Yeah, that's funny. So the eraser really will erase. So I guess at least it's like a funny eraser. Up next is something that I, I think it's gonna be ridiculous. You guys see these like old classic like joke prank packagings. I feel like these things like had to just originate in like the seventies and then stop there. So this is the folding trick spoon. Trick your friends with this bending spoon. I don't know if it folds like as soon as you pick it up or if you actually have to like apply pressure. Yes. Oh my God. Wait, who would fall for that? Like I thought once again that you would have to like maybe like scoop it into food, pick something up with it. I thought then it would collapse, but literally the minute that you pick it up, it just folds. What kind of prank is this? It's like the two second prank. So I guess like you could place it down and maybe somebody would fall for it and pick it up because there is this like joint here in the spoon, but honestly, it's pretty noticeable. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Oh, it could make maybe like a funny earring. <gasps> fashion. It's kind of a good look. Moving on to what I think could possibly be the scariest and most realistic prank, probably only from a distance. So this is a scary peeper. And you guys might have seen these before on the internet. Is this a used scary peeper? Is my scary peeper broken? Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think this is used. It's kind of weird. It's like a plastic head with a mask on. So there's lots of different designs of these like scary peeper products. Some of them look like clowns. Some of them actually look like werewolves or dogs or something. Some of them you're supposed to put outside. Some of them are robotic. So you'll put this scary face up against a window and like some of them have a hand that's robotic and it will like tap against the glass. This one though, honestly looked like from a distance, the most convincing. Put his hand and like wrap it around like a doorway or a closet or anywhere basically. And then he's like this. Pow. Now this is coming from somebody that sometimes sees like a strange pile of coats in a chair and it terrifies me for an instant. And I'm like, is that a person? Uh, no, it's just pants. But from a distance, like if you did not know somebody was affixing this decoration in your house, 
potentially creepy, right? Up next is prank. Burnable money prank. $100 bills. And this is the other thing that I was saying to you guys earlier, like some of these products, like why don't they just make them bigger? Because these are our prank burnable hundred dollar bills. I have to say when you look at it, it looks like really believable. Like they even have some of that like blue strip stuff. Like look, here is a real hundred dollar bill next to a fake one. Oh my gosh. And look at that. Like less than half of the size maybe. I mean, maybe if you like used this online only and had like a different perspective, someone somewhere, like if you held it up way close to the camera or something and lit it on fire, maybe somebody would be like, wait, no. In real life, pretty comical, pretty not believable. <laughs> up next, something that looks just questionable, even as I've received it in the mail, is fake bird poop. Look at this packaging. The pictures that they show of this prank look incredibly disgusting and so believable. Like I feel like if you sprayed this all over somebody's car, they would be so mad at you. <laughs> kind of nervous because there were like mixed reviews for this on Amazon and some people said that it could realistically like stain the paint of your car if you have like a certain kind of clear coat on your car. And I'm like, how do I know what kind of paint this is? But the pictures look incredible. Avoid inhalation, do not ingest, keep away from children. Okay. All right, you guys, two products left. Both also seem like those like really gimmicky ones. So we'll see how they go. Uh, this one is called a dribble glass. Now it's just a drinking glass. And I think somewhere there's like holes in it. It's supposed to be a realistic glass so that if somebody like picked it up, it wouldn't like not feel like a normal cup. I don't know, what does that even mean? How could it not be a normal cup? You fill it with liquid, you give it to somebody and they drink out of it. And then I guess like liquid spills on them somehow. Let's test it out. It is actually like a real drinking glass. I feel like if you looked at it at all, you could probably see the holes, but at least they did try and like disguise the holes. So let's put the Kool-Aid into the glass. <laughs> Look, I don't even need the glass. I'll just spill it all over myself. Cheers, Swamp Fam. That's a weak dribble. Oh, it's like a very slow drip. In the very last item, also looks like it's gonna be so silly. It's a squirt camera, oh. I think you just load it with water and then you walk up to a friend and you're like, hey, can I take your picture on this really old looking camera? Like nobody could pick this up though and be fooled by it. I think it's supposed to be a replica of a Nikon Cool Pix, which how old is that model of camera? Do they make it anymore? It's like super lightweight plastic. So there's absolutely no way that anybody could pick this up and not know. So there's like this little area back here and I guess you take this out and fill it up with water. So yeah, when you hit this button on the back, it's gonna squirt water on them. I don't know how much water could come out of that teeny tiny little hole, but we're about to find out. So you push this big button on the back that like squeezes the water out of this tiny little hole. I don't know you guys. Is there water coming out? Yeah. I, I see it. Yep. Yeah. I really see it. Look, here, spray. Okay. It's going to hit my hand. Ew! Now it's yeah. against Here, spray it again, spray it again. So it hits there. And it's... Up next seems to be like an entire genre of pranks. So you guys have to let me know. If you're into the prank scene, have you ever seen spring animals? I went with this one called Sammy the Skunk. And Oh my God, I saw all these little like hairs coming out of the package. I get, can you see the hairs? Now, I don't know what a spring animal does. Oh my God, let's find out. Let's see, what is this skunk? Oh, oh my God. Okay, from long distance, does this look like a skunk? It doesn't have legs, so probably not, but look at its cute little face. Wait, what do I do? Do I just do this? Oh, 
That was a little anticlimactic, my friend. So, I don't know. There are instructions here. This little guy is here to make any performance a rib-tickling success. Okay, what can I do with this, though? The spring is compressed downward, as shown. Gradually release the spring, and it will appear as if he's climbing up your body. But wait, don't you have to, like, do that first? Who would do that to a skunk? Does this look realistic? Here's my skunk. Oh, he's crawling up my body. Oh, okay. Hold him like this and sneakily flop the tail. Maybe I'm just not good at pranks. Honestly, I thought that this was kind of just a funny looking item. I saw somebody in the Amazon listing like put it on a pool table and I was like, okay, that's kind of funny. You could be like, skunks in the house. Dogman would probably never fall for this. I don't know. Would you, from a long distance? Maybe let's try and put him in some more realistic skunk looking settings. I was like, you know, like imagine if I had a costume on, you know? <laughs> I'm feeding a skunk than I have. Wait, there's a hole. Am I supposed to like... Maybe it's a puppet? Because <laughs> watch, it's supposed to crawl up my arm. <laughs> it's crawling. Oh wait, 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 put it in the bushes. What if you just walked up on it? Oh my God, there's a skunk in our bushes. That looks kind of real. All right, you guys. So that was all of our prank products. Don't you think they could just, just a little bit, you know, we can like refresh some of these prank products. Although that's kind of like a stress relieving thing. You have to let me know, would you be pranked by any of these? Do you think you could prank your friends with any of these? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I had fun testing these out, so hopefully you had fun watching today's video. I hope you guys all have an awesome day. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. 